Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Nong here, and welcome back to another Steam 2 video. Today we're going to be taking a look at explosions, things that make things explode, and how to make things explode faster. Because today we're taking a look at the new grenade cooldown mods, and how effective they are in actually reducing the cooldown on your grenade. And at first I planned for this video to be about grenade and melee cooldowns, but it turns out that we have enough melee cooldown mods and I don't even know when I'm gonna get some. So that's why today we're just taking a look at grenades, but the melee cooldown video will be coming soon. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Ever since the pre second update on the 28th of August, grenades have been more powerful. They remain more powerful in order to keep up with some of the returning special weapons, the shotguns, the fusion rifles, the sniper rifles. So they have to be brought up and they're pretty good right now, the grenades. So that means the grenades now are more powerful than they ever were at any time during Dusty 2. So we should really try to take advantage of them as much as we can. Alright, so now let's take a look at how much time it actually takes you to get your grenade back. And the grenade cooldown is the same for all classes and all subclasses. Your grenade cooldown for having no grenade mods is going to be a minute and 22 seconds. Which is not as bad as it used to be. Nowhere as bad as it used to be. But it's still a pretty long time. You're still spending almost a minute and a half without a grenade. So that's definitely not ideal. But one grenade mod actually makes quite a big difference. Dropping down your time from 1.22 to 1 minute and 3 seconds. A 19 second reduction. And this is always where you see the biggest reduction when it comes to mods. Going from 0 mods to 1 mod. It uses such a huge time that it cuts. For 2 mods, you're going to go from 1 minute and 3 seconds to 51. So you're starting to see that you're already starting to lose the effectiveness of the mod. But you're still taking off 12 more seconds of the cooldown with 2 grenades. As compared to 1 grenade. 3 mods will take your grenade cooldown down to 43.5 seconds. Now it's even less than 10 seconds, now you're just losing 7.5 seconds from taking your mods from 2 to 3. For 4 mods, you're going to be taking down your cooldown to 37.5, so you're barely reducing it at this point. You only lost 6 seconds from adding another mod from moving to 3 to 4. So this is when it starts to not really be worth it anymore, and it's very apparent with 5 mods now. Moving from 4 mods to 5 mods will only take... Four and a half seconds. Bringing down the cooldown on your grenade to 33 seconds. Just like we saw with the super mods, it's not that great of an idea to go with five of the same mods. It's just not worth it towards the end. Maybe if you're doing a specialized build that focuses 100% on grenades, but if you're not, you probably don't want to go with five mods. Because at four or five grenade cooldown reduction, you're barely losing any seconds, so it would be much better for you to use equip some other mods. Maybe a super cooldown reduction mod, or maybe a melee cooldown reduction mod, something different that will give you a more noticeable advantage in another area. So what you want to take away from this, if you like using your grenades a lot and want to spam them more often, but you also don't want to lose out on all your mod spots, you may want to run either 2 or 3 mod spots, because those give you the most bang for your buck. I recommend 3 mods because it basically cuts your grenade cooldown almost by 50%, doesn't quite get there, it's around the high 40s, but it's still pretty close to getting your grenade in half of the amount of time. And also you have some perks and armor to get your grenades back faster, that will also help your grenade cooldown. So hopefully this will help you guys decide on how many grenade cooldown mods you actually want to run. As always, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Leave a like you did, dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel in case you guys haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care everyone, have a good day.